What's up, guys? Warlog here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, today, we're going to talk about briefly do a quick overview and how Helltides work. And just so people who are just now getting to World Tier 3 or maybe haven't got there yet are excited to do. So, first thing first is you have to complete the story, defeat the Capstone Dungeon, and then you can unlock World Tier 3. So, Helltides only spawn in World Tier 3, and that is the only way to access them. You cannot do it in any other World Tier besides 3 and 4. So once you get to World Tier 3, the Helltides spawn, okay? And they're going to be indicated by the red spots on the map. You see how the entire map right here is outcased in this red? And then you can see it looks really, really cool well, on when you're that. doing Helltides. Like the, the screen is darker. You know, the monsters are more fierce. They, you know, then you have these elements where like meteors can spawn down or there's a hell tide boss which we have a whole video on which is really cool but hell tides are here and they last for one hour which you can see and the duration here we've been doing this one for 20 minutes and we have 40 minutes left to go now when hell tides spawn they spawn and last for one hour and then they go away for one hour so every other hour hell tides are going to respawn and you're going to be able to do these again the real cool thing about Hell Tides is, is that monsters, the monster uh, groups, the mobs are very dense. So you can fight a lot of monsters, gain a lot of XP. But more importantly, when you come into this area, you're going to kill monsters and get cinders. Okay? I'll show you right here. You're going to kill this monster. He didn't drop me a cinder, so that was bad for the video. Uh, let's go down here and just kill these guys as quickly as possible. So that way I can show you what the cinders look like when they drop. Okay, so you get you can get these Abherent Cinders. You can see I have 44 total. Okay, most of the monsters, you're going to get those when you uh, kill them, which is great. Bosses well, can no spawn in here, yet. elites, you know, and then on top of all that, because it's still in the open world, there's events that can spawn as well. So world events or Helltide events uh, where you can gain additional Cinders more than just one per monster that would drop them. Um kill this guy so he doesn't kill me I'm not now ready yet. one thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing all this if you die you lose half of your cinders you lose half each time you die until you're at zero now your respawn location is typically the closest to a you know whatever warp that you have um but you can still use your horse in here you can teleport to your teammates there's dungeons um there's the um, cellars, not the dungeons. There's cellars that you can go into, which will give you cinders for the hell tides. Now, you're asking yourself, like, well, why do I need hell tides, Warlug? Well, you need hell ties for all of the different chests. Oh, crap. We're getting jumped. Not today, buddy. Okay. So, back to what I was saying. The reason that you want these cinders and what you can use them for is all these little chests. As you can see on the map, there's chests... And it tells you what they do. Tortured gift of weaponry, protection, weaponry, protection, protection. And then this one is a mysteries. Okay. Each of these chests will give you different rewards. So for weaponry, you're going to get weapons. For arm, for protection, you have chances to get armor. For I think there's one for jewelry, so you can get amulets. And then you have the best one, which we did a whole video on, is the tortured gift of mysteries, which costs the most. When you open these, you have a chance to get legendary, sacred, and unique items, okay? It has a very high drop rate. I don't want to say super high, but you have a better chance of getting them in the real world, okay? Now, it consumes all your cinders. Now, when you open one of these, then it's gone. You cannot open it again, but what's great is that you're target farming gear pieces and gear piece powers. So, if you need a weapon, you need, you need a... Uh, an armor piece, like oh man, I really need I really need a good set of gloves. Let me try to get uh, a good pair of legendary or sacred gloves to put it on for your build, and then you're good to go. So that's the main reason why you want to have cinders. It acts; they're oh, perfect. This is great for target farming every other hour, which is really really cool. Now, once the duration is up, hell tides go away. Any cinders that you currently have just fade away into the void. You can no longer use them. So I definitely encourage you especially in a, in a big party, to find the Torture Gift of Mysteries and then find whatever ones that you have, mark them on the map, and then go out and farm together and have a great time, okay? 
So, so slay foes and complete activities to collect the cinders to unlock tortured gifts. So it's really, really great. You can see I'm in a team, and my teammate has marked this. This is probably for the helm, so we can try to get the, uh, what is it, the, what's it called? Uh, I'm blanking here, I'm blanking here, I'm blanking here. Try to get the, uh, what's it called, the Harlequin's Crest, which is probably one of the best helms in the game. So guys, that is a real quick overview of how Hell Tides work. It's very, very easy. Once you enter the area you are in, once you leave, everything is okay. So that's how Hell Tides work in a nutshell. I really do hope that this helps you out, guys. Like the video, comment down below, guys. What do you think about Hell Tides if you're doing them? And subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.